All right, this is an OSFS 52 we're going to be disassembling today. Uh, I start with uh, all the loose parts. The Woodruff key, carburetor. Operator and intake manifold. Valve cover. Pull the glow plug. Back plate. arm assembly the push rods will come out all out now the head I like to just loosen each screw before completely removing it with the uh, push rod covers. Those are the head screws. There's going to be a uh, head gasket in the cylinder. Be careful with it, it's soft aluminum. To remove uh, the valves we need to pull the valve keepers. They're a uh, C-clip that slips into a groove in the valve stem. I use my uh, thumbnail to remove the keeper. A lot of people like to do this uh, inside a plastic bag to prevent losing parts. The valves will come right out. Some the larger OS engines have uh, uh, two-piece uh, collet keepers and uh, those are a little trickier to remove, but uh, basically the same same method. Uh, to get the crankshaft out, you need to remove the uh, camshaft. camshaft will not come out until the uh, cam followers are, are removed. If the engine is new, they'll just fall out. Otherwise, uh, I use a uh, small Allen key to uh, reach in and push uh, at least the near side, the uh, would be the exhaust uh, cam follower, out. I like to use a piece of uh, fuel tubing to remove the camshaft. Slip it over the uh, over the bearing surface. Pinch the fuel line to create a vacuum, and it'll come right out. If the uh, followers didn't come out, you can just push them out. Next, uh, to remove the, uh, the, the crankshaft, we need to remove the uh, cylinder. 
in some engines it's loose in this case we need to heat up the uh, the crankcase Just needs to be a little warm usually. There we go. Not even hot to the touch. Cylinder comes right off the top. To remove the piston, the wrist pin needs to be removed through through the uh, the hole in the back of the engine. Uh, a drywall screw screw will remove the uh, the pan the pad. And if, uh, if you're lucky, the pin will come with it, usually only on a fresh engine. Wrist pin. Piston falls out the top. Connecting rod will now fall off the crank pin. and the uh, crankshaft will come out of the engine. Sometimes we need a little bit more force. Uh, use a press or just pushing the engine down. We'll loosen the uh, crankshaft. That's pretty much bare if you need to change the bearings. Uh, you will need to heat the, uh, the crankcase to remove them. And do not want to uh, use uh, mechanical force to remove it generally. I have a small uh, electric heater that I use for removing bearings. This uh, heats up the crankcase in a few minutes. And uh, if you're lucky the bearings just fall out otherwise with the with a tap uh, or a slight push on the race they will they will come out of the crankcase. Our crankcase is hot so we'll try to remove the bearings. They didn't fall out on their own. A light tap is all it takes. You have to uh, hit harder than that. Um, you can distort uh, the hot uh, crankcase. With uh, now with the crankshaft, we can push the front bearing out. No, we can't. The front bearing needs uh, a little help sometimes. I have a shaft uh, that fits the uh, inner race. This one is not cooperating. If you need to remove the piston ring, uh, it's best to reassemble the uh, piston with the connecting rod, clamp it lightly in a vise, just so it doesn't move around. And I use my, uh, my thumbnails to grab the uh, ring gap. and lightly pull the, uh, the ring out. 